We're taking a live look here at Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena, where the first and second rounds of the NCAA tournament will be played starting on Friday. It's an event that's been years in the making. Yeah, sports director Julie Minnesone shows us what it took to get the big dance back to the Inland Northwest and the plans for future tournaments here in Spokane. The NCAA is returning to Hooptown, USA. You get to see these quality championship teams. It's the sixth time the men's tournament will be played in Spokane, and the first since 2016. It's a monumental time for Spokane to celebrate the big win um, on all scales, from you know the economy side of things to the fan engagement to really providing some spotlights even on our local universities and the programs that they have at scale. The University of Idaho is the host for the six games that will be played at Spokane Arena an event that's been six years in the making. If you can offer a great event and you can put on a, a good show, so to speak, and allow the teams to get to a site fairly easy, which Spokane has the airport, and you supply the hotels and all that. Making Spokane a slam dunk destination. There were more than 3,000 bid submissions from cities and universities across the country, all hoping to host a number of different NCAA sporting events from 2022 to 2026. Earning a bid is like winning the lottery. We work with our hotel partners in securing all of the room blocks. We work with transportation. We work with the airport. We work with the police department for escorts. Spokane was set to host the men's tournament in 2020 until it was canceled due to COVID and moved to a bubble the following year, making this year's March Madness sweet indeed. Gonzaga was a number one seed. It would have been the first time that a number one seed could essentially have played in front of its hometown. No zags, no problem. Spokane Sports says tickets sold out faster than any other venue. They say tourism from past tournaments have brought a nearly $4 million boost to the local economy. To have a community that rallies around sporting events has been a huge attribution to why the NCAA keeps picking us. Organizers are already game planning for future NCAA tournaments, including a women's regional next season and potentially another men's tournament in 2027. We're not in competition with a professional sports organization. You know, we're not against an NBA team trying to sell out something the same weekend. And so when events are hosted here, it's, you know, people show up. And we make it a big deal. First and second round games at the arena are set for this Friday and Sunday. You can still purchase tickets through a third-party reseller on the NCAA's website.